Hi, my name is Rebecca Reed and I'm part of the Outreach Department here at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. Today I'm going to teach you guys about making a ball run using some things you might have around your house. Today we're going to use cardboard, a box top works really well, straws, hot glue, tape, scissors, and then you're going to need a lightweight ball. Um, I used one from one of my daughter's toys. Um, just in case you aren't familiar with ball runs, they are a, um, they use force and gravity to pull a ball down a track um, and it's that's the really important part of it is that they move from a higher elevation to like a lower elevation um, and in this case we're going to use straws as the structure of our track. Now when the, the ball is at the top of the run it has lots of potential energy. That energy is stored energy. When you let go of your ball the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy and that's the energy of motion. Now to get started building, you're going to need um, four straws to make your first round of track. And you um, may find that you want to just use hot glue or just use tape. I used both. I used hot glue and then I would put tape down to kind of hold everything until the glue um, dried. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that the hot glue is hot and it'll melt your plastic straws. Um, I noticed that a few times where suddenly I would be pushing and they'd get shorter. So you want to kind of take that into account too when you're working. Um, and it's I did it by myself, but I will definitely tell you it would have been a lot easier to have an extra set of hands to help. Um, as you're starting, you want to um, think about how you want to do your track. The um, piece of cardboard I made my, my example on, um, not the final one I have. It um, is almost too small for the size ball I had. I realized after I started that a larger ball, a larger piece of cardboard would have worked a little bit better. Um, and so basically you want to just start gluing. You want to um, think about how wide your ball is and that's about, you want to make sure your track is not wider than your ball. So that's important to take into account. You also need to remember how long your straws are. Um, it's a lot well, you probably can combine straws to make longer runs, at least at the beginning, you may want to just try starting with just tracks that are the length of your straws. Um, and you want to make sure that you have put two that are um, two that are one height, and then you want to make sure that your next height is at the other end of the run is a little bit shorter. Um, as you're gluing, you just want to make sure that you keep testing your um, project as you go. That way you can make changes and adjustments as you need to. Um, and here are a few things um, I think you need to remember. One, um, if your marble, your ball is always going to roll from a higher point to a lower point. So you, um, we don't have enough space to really get a lot of momentum so they could go uphill. So you want to try to remember that. You always want to go from higher to lower. Um, straws aren't the only material you could use. You could get out skewers or paper strips or even um, craft sticks, clothespins, all might be things, or even Legos, things that you could use to help make your ball, marble runs, ball runs. And um, like I said, you want to test your design. And if you notice that there's something wrong with it, you just need to troubleshoot that. So you need to look at what's happening. Is your ball falling through the track because um, the straws like bend, then maybe you need to reinforce those straws and make that tighter. If it's bouncing off the track, maybe you need to make a wall or something or a little like kind of railing so that it can't fall off. Um, and if you, you know, if it's going too fast, maybe consider a way to slow it down. That might be an opportunity where you do want to make a part of the track go a little higher to make a little uphill to make it slow down a little. Um, I hope you enjoy making your ball runs and I'd love to see some of what you guys have made today. So if you do make something, take a video, take a picture, and please share it on the museum's social media. Thank you for joining us. And um, if you want more great science content like what you're seeing on our YouTube channel, definitely like this video and subscribe. And then you'll find out all the things, exciting things we're doing during this time. Thank you and have a wonderful day.